Greetings. Today let's look at a series RL circuit. My circuit has a 5 volt peak to peak voltage source that's running at 2 kilohertz. My inductor is 100 millihenries and my resistor is 1.2 kilo ohms. The first thing we want to do is look at our totals. Our first total, V, we only have one voltage source in, so it's going to be that voltage source of 5 volts. My inductive reactance, the apparent resistance of the inductor at this frequency, can be found as a formula of 2 times pi times F times L. That's 2 times 3.14 times 2K times 100 milli. So we have 2 times pi times 2 exponent 3, which is k, times 100 exponent negative 3, which is milli. And that gives us an inductive reactance of 1.257k. Now, if this was a standard resistor circuit, series resistor, we would just add the two resistances together. But this isn't. We have a reactive component. So instead of resistance, we call it impedance, Z. And Z can be found by the square root of R squared plus X of L squared. So for this circuit, it would be 1.2K squared plus 1.257K squared. Now I had the inductive reactance already left from the previous calculation, so I'm going to go ahead and store that value. And now I'll go ahead and square it. So we have 1.579 meg. And I'll go ahead and store that value as well. Now I'll take the resistor 1.2 exponent 3, again K. I'll square that and it gives me 1.44 meg. Plus and now I'll go ahead and recall the value of the inductance squared. And that gives you us a value of 3.019 meg. Now all I have to do is hit the square root. And the total impedance of the circuit is 1.738 kilo ohms. And I will go ahead and store that value as well. Next we need to find I total. I total is defined as V total divided by Z total. So in the circuit that is 5 volts divided by 1.738K. So we have 5 divided by, and I go ahead and recall my Z value of 1737. And that gives us a value of 2.878 milliamps. And I'll go ahead and store that. Okay. Next, we have P total. P total is simply I total times V total. So that's 2.878 milli times 5. So I'll go ahead and recall my current and multiply it times 5. And that gives us a power rating of 14.388. The last thing on the list is our phase shift. Our phase shift is defined as the inverse tangent of X of L divided by R. So in this case it's 1.257K divided by 2K. So we'll go ahead and recall our Z value divided by 1.2 exponent 3. And that gives us a value of 1.047. And then I will go ahead and hit the inverse of the tangent. And that gives us an angle of 46. 0.32 degrees.
Now that we got the totals, let's go ahead and find the individual values. First up is our resistor. This is a series circuit, so we know that current remains the same. So my IR will be equal to IT, which is 2.878 milliamps. So the first value we can find is VR. VR is simply R times IR or 1.2K times 2.878 milli. So I'm going to take 1.2 exponent 3 times and then I go ahead and I'll recall my current and that gives us a value of 3.453 volts. Next we can find our power. Power is defined as IR times VR. IR is 2.878 milli and VR is 3.453. So we'll go ahead and take this value, store it, and then I'll go ahead and take the value of the voltage times, I'll recall my current and this gives us a power of 9.937 milliwatts. Next let's go ahead and look at the inductor. Again this is a series circuit so my current IL is going to be equal to IT which is 2.878 milliamps first value we can find is VL. VL is X of L times IL. X of L is 1.257 K and IL is 2.878 milli. So with this one I can recall my value of the inductive reactance times my recalled value of the current and that gives us a voltage drop of 3.616 volts. Go ahead and store that voltage reading. Next is PL. PL is VL times IL. So you have 3.616 times 2.878. So I'm going to go ahead and recall my voltage times and I'm going to go ahead and recall my current and this gives me a power rating of 10.406 milliwatts. Now that we're all done with the circuit we can go ahead and use Kirchhoff's voltage law to double check our values. Now again in a series resistor circuit Kirchhoff's voltage law was just the sum of all the voltage drops across all the resistors. But in this case remember that there's a phase difference between the resistor and the inductor. So Kirchhoff's voltage law changes to the square root of VR squared plus VL squared. So we have the square root of 3.453 squared plus 3.616 squared. So I'm going to go ahead and recall voltage of the resistor, square it, which we get 11.92 plus, and I'll go ahead and recall the value of the voltage for the inductor and square that. And that gives us a value of the square root of 25. So if I hit square root, I end up with 5 volts. So KVL checks our circuit. So our circuit is good to go. Thank you for watching.